Guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will cover Gala in the imminent short term. It's following our wave count here to the upside. So I will discuss what the price targets are and also my longer term outlook. So make sure that you watch this entire video. Before we start off, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel. And if you want to join my trade signal group, click the first link in the description or just scan the code on the right side of your screen. Lastly, follow me on Twitter, Steph underscore is crypto for the latest updates. So this this is the four hourly time frame here on the Binance chart for Gala and in the previous update we spoke about that there was a potential lag upcoming to the upside for Gala and that is exactly what played out here so congratulations if you took the trade I told you that anywhere in this green target box it was an area for Gala to reverse the trend further to the upside and that's exactly what happened we we held support here and at the moment we are pumping to the upside what's is what is also beautiful to see is that the volume here is increasing here on the four hourly time frame which is an absolute bullish signal also gala um, is still forming this bearish divergence here so i do think that this is the last leg up before we are going to see a slight deeper retracement for gala but definitely more upside possible we even reached my almost reached my first price target here at uh let me actually see what the first price target was if i calculate the length of this wave one and put it on the bottom of this wave two then sorry at the bottom of this wave four that's around here then switch over to the linear scale yeah the first price target is already reached here at 19.1 cent and the second price target is laying somewhere around the 20 cent region for gala also be aware at 19.3 cent there will also be a lot of resistance but the next uh, target that i could see gala go is around the 20 cent region maximum for this wave five and then we should see a more uh, deeper retracement for gala so just be aware of that there will be resistance um 19.3 uh, cents and the next area of resistance will be located at 20 cents for gala but it's looking good at the moment the volume is increasing uh, let me actually see what is happening here on the hourly time frame also here beautiful increasing volume um, momentum is still pushing up we are in the overbought region so be aware that the risk is definitely getting higher here still forming this bearish rsi divergence so from any moment in time the trend could reverse to the downside for gala um, also the stochastic rsi forming lower highs here let me check the four hourly once more four hourly macd is still heading up so momentum is still pushing higher um, however we are spotting bearish divergences so i think this these are the last meters of this imminent short-term uptrend for gala and after that we will see a retracement at least that is the expectation what is good to see overall is that the volume is increasing so i definitely do expect slightly more upside in the short term um, let's head over to the more um, yeah to the three daily time frame let me go to another chart here that's the Qcoin chart for Gala and Gala at the moment is outperforming the rest of the crypto market which is overall good to see. This is the Qcoin chart with the entire Gala history and at the moment we are seeing a beautiful bounce here from off the 0 0.887 Fibonacci level. Beautiful to see and the next critical area of resistance on the, in the midterm will be the 2.5 cent region at the 0 0.786 Fibonacci uh, retracement level. Uh, what is also nice to see is that the volume is slightly increasing here on the three daily time frame however we want to see these big spikes here in volume in order for us to be more bullish uh, when can i say that the downtrend for gala is over only if we bre break significantly above 2.5 cents and also outside of this descending wedge uh, you can clearly see that we are respecting this downward sloping resistance line from off the start of the bear market at the end of um, november 2021 several touch points here and once gala decides to break outside of this um yeah descending wedge here then we have an official then we have officially broken the downtrend and then i can say with a lot of certainty that the bear market low was in here at around one uh, 1.5 cents so what if we go lower from off this point what is the imminent area of support it is 1.5 cents if we lose that level we will go to one cent but i do expect major support at those levels so the overview still is that uh, basically from the beginning of august back in 2021 gala moved impulsively to the upside in five waves as you can see 
see here on the chart. This was together part of a larger Elliott Wave 1. Um, since the top was reached here at 84 cents, Gala entered the bear market here in this so-called Elliott Wave 2 corrective wave, which is possibly finished or is either still ongoing. When this is completed, we will move up impulsively in a Wave 3 in the next bull cycle for gala there was also some very interesting news uh, i believe that gala announced on their twitter page that they will burn tokens in the future and uh, a lot of other stuff so definitely check them out on twitter they have a lot of news there uh, which they are announcing i will always i will also retweet it so you guys can also see it on my own twitter page um, yeah, so that's basically the view um, in terms of the indicators on the three daily time frame still under a buy signal here Positive momentum is to be expected in the next few weeks months for gala. It's looking very good Stochastic RSI heading up strongly. So yeah, I think the trend um, Yeah, this could be a, a shift in trend here, but let's see how it will play out It's too early to call a bear market low, but it's looking very interesting certainly um, also, the momentum on the MACD, uh, the bearish momentum is weakening. As you can see, the the um, these big things are getting uh, smaller here. So, yeah, you can see that the bearish momentum is weakening. And basically, that means that the sell pressure is exiting the market. We are also forming this so-called ending diagonal. This is basically a structure which you tend to see at the end stages of a downtrend. And from any moment in time, the trend could shift to the upside. So that's my analysis. If I see any major developments, I'll be back later today with another gala update. Otherwise, I'll be back tomorrow. I wanna thank you for watching and uh, I appreciate all the support. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and I see you in the next update. Thank you, bye-bye.